Hey, feels right. Feels right. Man. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten. He wears a hooded sash with a silver hat about his head and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. The theme of this offseason for the Las Vegas Raiders has been build the trenches up. Interior defense lineman Christian Wilkins is known to be the top defense lineman signing in free agency, and that's just what the Raiders needed for the defense. Jim Tom Telesco addressed the offensive line in a major way too, drafting guard Jackson Powers Johnson in round two. He's considered the best offensive line pick in this draft. The fact that he was projected to go in round one and went in almost the middle of round two makes him a great value pick. He is great value in more ways than one though. What makes a great pick? Best player available? Check. At a position of need? Check. Does he fit the scheme you plan to use? Check. Okay, so he fits in every way. That's it, right? Wrong. There's a culture fit. You know that old Raider culture head coach Antonio Pierce is bringing back. You know, physicality, violence, ill intent, and pain. That's all that's in this kid's heart. He's a nasty boy. A lot like the old great Raider offensive lineman of the past. Okay, he was a center at Oregon, so I'm not going to mark the center. Alright, let's start with the bad. He only has 32 and a half inch long arms. That's short for an offensive lineman. When you have short arms, you can get bench pressed by opposing defensive linemen. That means you have very little margin for error, especially in the running game. If you don't place those hands perfectly, the defensive lineman's gonna disengage from you. Oregon's gonna pick up a nice gain here, but you're gonna see Powers' man easily disengage from him. If he doesn't get those hands on that chest plate quickly, things like this are gonna happen to him. He's gotta get those hands in the right place and pass protection too. But let me tell you, this 6'3", 330 pounder is physical. Serving up them pancakes like IHOP. Remember, he's the center, hiking the ball. Watch this. Just threw that fool down. The nose tackle's about to get dealt with here. Oh. Once he gets his hands in place and latches on to you, you're done. And you're likely to be driven into the ground. I usually like chocolate syrup on my pancakes, but I'll take strawberry on these. Oh. He's just way too powerful. There are times he eliminates his man from making the tackle before the play even starts. <laughs> Look at this, his man has no chance to do anything. Look at this, as soon as the ball snapped, man down. If he could do this when snapping the ball, what's he gonna do when he doesn't have to snap the ball anymore? I know, he's coming to the NFL, but he has to at least be able to do some of it. Again, once he latches on, guys go down. Watch him throw his man down here and then go get another lick on him. That's a nasty boy. All 
All that power is why he's reliable at the point of attack. He returns his man out to get his running back through the hole. And he relatches on to his man just long enough for Bo Nix to get through on the quarterback draw. He and the right guard are going to blow open a big hole here. Here he is opening a hole near the goal line. And here he latches on long enough to set up a big play for his running back. Powers does a good job of getting to the second level. He's going to have to do plenty of that in the Raiders zone blocking scheme. Let's see what he really did on that play though. Oh. Here he gets up on the linebacker again to give his running back a chance to do a little something. He's gonna go get that linebacker to set his running back up for a big touchdown run here. He's gonna go get that linebacker again, and as you know, he doesn't like for the play to end with this man standing up. He doesn't hit the ground, but number nine's gonna get bucked on this play. Buck. Powers does a good job of comboing off to the second level too. The first guy gets bucked to the turf here. Here is combo block sets this run up. And here he sets up another big run. This isn't a big run here, but Powers did his job. It's two guys consecutive, just like that. Here's another beautiful combo up to the second level. Alright, and this last one sets up a nice run. Powers does a good job in open space too, like screens and pulling. He usually hits somebody. He stays within the rules on this one. He's going to hit two guys on this pull here. And the second guy's going to get dusty. Ooh, now watch this pull here. He's going to show you why corners don't want that work. Oh. All right, now we're back in the screen game, and this ain't right. Oh. On this one, he's going to show a little athleticism and get way downfield. Now we're on to the passing game. He's even physical in pass blocking. Oh. Here he just throws his man to the ground like it's nothing. If you're a defensive lineman playing against him, you better keep your head on a swivel. Oh. And here he is again. Oh. Here the blitzing linebacker is just going to get tossed out the way. I mean when he pushes a linebacker they go flying. Watch here it is again. Get out of here. 
And if you bull rush them, you're not going to make it far. He's only 6'3", so he's going to have the leverage advantage over most nose tackles. So bull rushes will keep you on the line of scrimmage. That means there shouldn't be a lot of pressure on Raider quarterbacks' faces this year. He shows a little speed and quickness to get to his man, then he stonewalls him. There's nothing going on in the middle of that defense as far as pressure goes. And along with that power, he's aware, so stunts don't fool him. This one's simple. The man's trying to cross his face and he takes him. This one has a stunt with a blitz in it, but no problem. Power studies. Here we got Washington on the stunt and no doesn't fool anyone. Here we got linebackers bluffing and he still knows who to block. And here he has the edge rusher coming his way and he's ready for him. Stunts and blitzes are no problem. The Raiders really did well for themselves in the trenches on both sides of the ball this offseason. They got the best defensive lineman in free agency and they make the best offensive lineman pick in the draft. Powers was supposed to go in the first round but fell into the second round. Of course he's great value but he fits the Raiders in every way a player can fit in an organization. They need a right guard. He fits the scheme and boy does he fit the culture. He's in the mold of Gene Upshaw, Charlie Hanna and Richie Incognito and I absolutely cannot wait to see him play. He's gonna catch a lot of bodies out there. Thank you for watching, see you next time.